The next step in formatting your document will be setting the headings and adding section numeration to each of these to allow you to differentiate between the chapters and the subsections of your document. So to begin this, you will go to the multi-level list option and select multi-level list. The easiest way to manage this is to define a new multi-level list at this stage. You can select the More tab to view the greater range of information that's associated with it. And here you have the first level of numeration. If you wish to have chapter showing, you can remove everything from here and type in chapter. This will automatically be assigned to this. Again, this is your own choice, you don't have to. You will then select the number level to be one, two or three. And then you may wish to place a period after this. You can see there is a text indent here, which you may wish to reduce to zero. And again, follow number with tab character, you may wish to change to space or equally to nothing, depending upon your later formatting. But again, with these headings, you can always go back and change them at a later date. So we'll select space in this instance. We'll then move down to level two. In fact, we won't, I lied. We'll stay at level one and we'll link this level to style heading one. And this will then mean that all heading ones will have this formatting associated with them. We'll then select level two and we will link this to heading two. We'll remove the default formatting that's shown there. And we will first include level number from level one. We'll follow this with a period and then we will insert one, two or three form from number style for this level. And again, we'll follow this with a period. We'll remove the indentation unless we later want it. We'll again remove the aligner unless equally we later want it. And we'll change the follow number with space. And then we'll go to level three. We'll link this level to style heading three. We'll remove the current formatting from this list. We'll include first level one to get the first level of numeration and follow this with a period. We'll then include level two and equally we'll follow this with a period and then we'll equal the new numeration for this level of the heading from one, two, three on the number style for this level. Again, we'll remove the text indent. If it will let me. And we'll remove the aligned at and equally we'll follow this with a space. And then we can okay that and we should see now in this top ribbon here, our formatting has changed and equally have a navigation bar through the document, but we're not going to use that in this instance, although we can come back to it later. So I'll just close that down. So the first thing we want to be a chapter one, is we can select the headings that are here, or to be chapters within this, and you'll see automatically how they're assigned. You may want to change some of the formatting associated with these and equally if you right click on them and modify you can go through you can change the font style the font size and equally the font color so you may want to select automatic and the format if we go to the paragraph option from this tab on the modify style we'll want to change the before to zero And we'll want to change the after to 6 or 12, depending on your preference. We can leave the line spacing, but we'll want to change the alignment to left, so that for longer titles, 
it doesn't spread them too far across the page. And we can say OK to that, and OK again. And the heading 1 here, we can change to chapter 1. And equally as we go down, a heading 2, we can select from the formatting bar into heading 3. We can select, and as we're going through the text, we can apply the correct heading to each level within this text. Similarly, if you wish to change any of them, you can just click, modify, and change the colour, the formatting. Equally, you can also change the paragraph style associated with them. The advantage of using this setup is that any time if you want to change any of these headings you can go back and all the formatting you apply at this stage using this menu will apply to all of the selected headings that have been formatted using that heading itself.